So, uh, Anya, you, you played the Tri-Series recently. How did you sort of sum it all up? I think it was um, really good preparation leading into this. Um, three of the best teams in the world and plenty of um, really hard-fought close games. Um, we've obviously got a chance to practice a live super over, which is something that doesn't happen very often. So, obviously, we were disappointed. We came out here and, um, and wanted to win it, but I think all in all, it's really good preparation. And... Uh playing on some slower wickets was mentioned before. Do you expect things to, conditions to quicken up as we get closer into the tournament? I think it will probably vary where we're playing. You'd obviously expect our first group game um, at the Wacky. You'd obviously expect that to be pretty quick. Canberra's always a really good surface and then um, probably expect the showground in Sydney to maybe be a little bit slower. So I think one of the most important things is you've got to be able to adapt playing different places, different pitches and, and the Tri-Series gave us a really good opportunity to have to do that. You obviously know Perth well as well with some previous WBBL experience, that must help. Yeah, definitely. We've got a lot of girls actually who have been at Perth, played a lot of the Wacker and um, it's almost feel a little bit like going home for lots of people. So I'm really looking forward to getting back there, playing there. Obviously as a seamer, you always look for a fixture at the Wacker, so really happy to be playing there. And someone else is coming home in a way is your new coach, Lisa. How's it been playing under her so far? Yeah, it's been really good. Um, Obviously, her coming into the role, um, I guess, has really freshened things up. It's been really exciting. Um, like I said, loads of the girls know Lisa either from the academy back in England or from Perth. So it's nice to have that little bit of familiarity. But, yeah, it's been really good. You mentioned, obviously, for in, if everyone in a way, you're almost coming to a second home. But what's probably an elevation of that experience is if you do make the final and aiming for over 90,000 at the MCG. It must be an exciting thing to work towards. Oh, absolutely. I think um, for all the girls who were... Um, at Lords at the 2017 World Cup final, that was just an incredible experience to be a part of. And if they can fill the MCG, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, have that many people watching a women's cricket final would be, well, obviously, would be record breaking. And I think it just shows that um, where the women's game has gone, that that is something that's a really realistic um, possibility. No. Um, obviously, there's um, a lot of the teams, you know, India, Brazil, and Australia. We know the big teams. Are there any other teams you're really excited to, to see? Yeah, I think obviously Thailand being here is amazing. It shows, I guess, how much women's cricket's growing around the world to have them here at their first World Cup is incredible. And we're really fortunate to be in their group. Um, I think what's become really evident over the last 50 over World Cups, 2020 World Cups, is just how open the field is. Um, you look at South Africa, they've got world-class players. The same with West Indies, got Deandra Dottin back and Hayley Matthews back in the team. So there's plenty of dangerous teams and um, really excited to get going. Oh, just everywhere, just to be back to Perth. I haven't been there for, for, um, for about three years since I was last there. So it would just be nice to, to go there and be back at the Wacker playing. And yeah, last time you were involved, um, well, sorry, not last time you were involved in the World Cup final, but one of the last times you were at Lords in front of the long room um, after the game. After this game, Katie hey, Perry lost to you singing. Um, will you be joining her on stage? Uh, I'm, I'm more of a rapper, it must be said, as I think Heather Knight is just... Uh, um, let the cat out of the bag. So, um, but no, I'm not. I'm not taking over Katy Perry. I'll leave that all to her. You'd rather Eminem up there. Oh, I'd much rather Eminem. But I'm not sure it's a family-friendly uh, music artist. Awesome. Thanks. Awesome. Thanks.